It is 16 minutes after 7, starting her day on 959 Breakfast is Mante Rabani. Like I say, she's an artiste. Muse her all you want. <laughs> classic, classic, classic creative girl, this one. So we're in Heritage Month and uh, you're part of a very interesting project called The Origins. Oh, you excited about that one? Sure. Honored. Right? Yeah. A yeah. little bit more about it. Yeah. Um, I've been selected amongst the most amazing, iconic artists to tell their own stories. Yeah. In their yeah. own way, in their own narrative. And yeah. I think... You know, we're living in a time where stories are a strong vehicle to inspiration yeah. and to be selected to be part of this project at this time where we're going through a little transition in our country. I think this will spark a lot of inspiration into our people. Yeah. And yeah, yeah and I love it. I love the fact that there's more storytelling and, you know, I'd, I wish I could learn more from you yeah. through your own story. You yeah, know, that's yeah, how we yeah. learn from each other and build each other. Yeah. So how do you tell your story then um, in, 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 in Origins? Do, does a crew follow you around while yes. you, you do what you do, your shows and stuff? Yeah. Um, so the project is about collaboration also. Uh, so we collaborated with the team from uh, Multi Choice mm -hmm. uh, to curate you know the production day aren't they such a great team Yo, yeah so open-minded yeah. so gentle and it, it, it's rare to have to work with people who are willing to also yeah. hear your side yeah. and your view on how you want to be portrayed yeah and um so the project is about different um five uh impactful artists mm -hmm. and you know, following on their own journeys. And on my side, it's about, you know, my transition from being a performing artist to like a business um, yeah. lady, to like a creative director, to all these disciplines that I've accomplished through my journey. Yeah. But my foundation was through dance and yeah. that was my intro in the industry. Yeah. And through that, I got to be where I am and to also be in this position to tell the story, to tell the journey that yeah. you don't have to be stuck in one dimension. Because don't box yourself, don't box right? yourself mm. because we're living in a very powerful world right now, digitally yes. and you know, internationally people are open to us. We the yeah. mood board of the world. Ah, and I like that. Yeah, and we need to also own our own, you know, own us. Own our, own yourself, yeah. but also be proud of who we are. Yeah. Because the more we're proud of who we are, the more we know how to execute ourselves in the world. Well we've got a bit of a clip here to listen to. It has been on Showmax from the first of September. It's called The Origins. Take a listen. What is it that makes you you? Tell us, this connection you have to past generations, is that how you're able to access this deeper part of self? Tell us, your stories are healing scars we've had to carry. Your stories are helping us understand our dignity. So tell us, never silence your origins. Tell us, preserve these stories of today so that the next generation can simply pick up from where you left off. Tell us of my better, of militant mothers and misunderstood fathers. Paint us a picture of our forebears. Dress us up in the cloths of our history. Play us a tune and sing the praises of our not-so-distant past. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Reset our minds and set us free. Because you are our origins. And your story needs to be heard. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. It makes wow. one want to watch just listening to it. Put me in the back seat of his Jeep anytime. <laughs> Any day I've been saying this. Brenner Boy is my guy. Love him. Absolutely love him. 24 minutes after 7, hanging out with another person that we love right here on Kai 959. Uh, Mante Rabani. Is Mante your full name? Yes. That's it. Yeah. Your, your, your mother and your father gave you that name, Mante. That is what is in your ID. Mopedine. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah. you amazing artistic Betty woman, if you bumped into someone in an elevator and you're getting off the next floor and they ask you what makes you cool, looking at your achievement, what would be top of mind to mention? How would you answer them? My family. Oh, dope. That's wow. actually super me. dope. I, I don't think I would have been here without them and their guidance. You yeah. Know? And also a firm belief of self-love, self-belief. Yeah. And they've instilled that in me. And I'm here, I'm standing here, they're with me. 
Oh, that's a hot elevator pitch answer. I like oh. that. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like that. You lost your mom at a very young age, yeah. and you and you the first born, right? And how how was it? Now, did you have to step up and be like a mother to your younger siblings? How was that? Yeah, it was. Um, hey. <laughs> it was quite a moment because I was with her. Uh, when she that, crossed yeah. over. And oh. we looked at her. She, I, we had a very deep conversation. I mean, I was only 13, really? you know, but I had to Monday. get up. Um, but it taught me a lot because I don't think I would have been here without that strength and that last wisdom that she brought into me. Jeez. That is so wild. You had a conversation with your mom before yeah, she crossed over yeah. at the age of 13. Yeah. And I, yeah it's you, heavy. You have to be ready. And also, that's why I think that's why I can't limit myself because I mm. saw she was, you know, already she applied for a new job. Things were coming, you know. Mm. And then mm. construction, mm. things were happening. And then seeing her end, you know, life had to decide otherwise. Like, and that's why I have this urge to just keep going. I want to try this. I want to do this. Okay, of course, I want to do that. And yeah. Yeah, sure. and my father also at the same time he also passed. Crossed over. Yeah, and sure. and before that, I don't know if you mind telling us more about it. When you were seven, you were involved in an accident. It yeah. almost took your life, and yeah. that was a year before you performed uh, for Nelson Mandela <laughs> at the age of eight. At the age of eight, <laughs> yeah. How was that accident? Um, I remember that morning so vividly. I was talking to my mom. I was like, "Hey, mom, I, I really want to go with you, go Sekunda, because mm. she was collecting her clothes there." And I was like, mm. "I cried so intensely," and it's, it's like, "No, mom, please don't leave me." And then later on, she got a call that I, I was, I fell like Mata, it's very like Lobotola Coca. Cola, and then I fell, and then the bottle fell, broke first. You know, 1.5 for those bottles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, mm. and then yeah, like okay, on your stomach. Yeah, and I oh. couldn't walk. Oh. I couldn't yeah. sit up straight. I couldn't walk. I had so to was, go for therapy. Hectic. I was on ICU. Yeah, thank God for my dad. He had medical aid, you know, yeah. back oh, in the days. Go le, go le yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. good treatment, and yeah. And where and I am today, and that's why that. the aggression, the the passion, yeah. and everything that I do, it's wow. like I I know there's a reason why I, I was given a chance. It's amazing how when death is near us, because it's very near mm. you, just yourself near death experience at the age of seven, as yeah. I mentioned, yeah. your mom's death crossing over mm. experience, your dad crossing over shortly after yeah. your mom. It's amazing how inspirational darkness can be, right? It, it, it can. It Literally. pushes us to yeah. live more to and live explore more. and do as much as we can. Yeah. Absolutely. And Absolutely. never take breathing for granted. Like never us being take take breathing for granted. For granted. Like we up. That's that's a gift. That's an achievement. That is Already true. that's that's a gift for you. You've achieved it. You you up to today, it's a Monday. We're starting the week. How powerful is that? Very powerful. <laughs> What's next for you? For Mantera, <laughs> the artiste. Yes. Um, the um, one who outshines <laughs> darkness artistically. Is to, you know, create more projects in Soweto, where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. And, and create an orphanage home yeah. for children who don't have both parents. Because sure. thank God oh. I had a good support mm. system. Beautiful. You know, if it wasn't yeah. for that support system and a godly manner mm. of of spiritual growth, I don't think I would have been here. So wow. imagine someone else, you know. Mm. So let's be the change, you know. Nice. And the fact that we have these opportunities now, like how do we expand it? How do we help others yeah. to also grow? Because someone else believed in me yeah. when I didn't believe in myself. So how about we share that to the next generation? I like that. Yeah. I like that. Speaking of projects, can you quickly tell us about your, the project you're working uh, on in Sweden? Ah, who's that? <laughs> we know things, eh? Oh, wow. We know things. Nah, we know things. We know Come things on. Must we don't bring people unless yeah. we're really interested in them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think for that one, let me just, let me make sure that it's it's well, it's highly confidential for now. Oh, okay, but I do have other projects that, 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 that okay, I'm working okay. on. I have yeah. a... I have a store which is called Natura Collab, which is a collaborative space where I give local designers and fashion uh, and furniture designers to showcase their work at yeah. Nairok Sculpture Park. And that's a beautiful sculpture park, actually. That yeah. sculpture park is absolutely epic. I can actually see it on you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Manila, that location. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. And also, what else? Um, uh, oh, Derubani, my, my siblings, we have a collective, uh, so we're launching our website very soon. 
And also equally artistic. Yeah. Like, just yeah. Like you know. Wow. Yeah. And also, yeah, there's a lot. Good. But for now. For now, yeah. we're on show Let's Max. pray for it. <laughs> Let's pray for Sweden. <laughs> for Sweden. Right? Pray upon and everything else. Yeah, and yeah. watch Show Max. It started uh, from the 1st of September. It's called The Origins. She's one of five very interesting South Africans that get to tell their story. By the way, I've been staring at your hands and your collarbone, yeah. right? I love that tattoo around your collarbone. Yeah. And you've got the most amazing hands. <laughs> They're so feminine. I like them. Thank They're you. so feminine. They're beautiful. You're stunning. Thank uh, and this is how we call you a rap. Thank you very much for Thank starting you so your day on 959. Nine. You're, You're welcome. What a powerful Monday. Yeah. It is, right? Let's go. Don't take breathing for granted.